Congo and Inner City Development Minister Dr. Mustafa Hamid has emphasized government's commitment towards transforming the lives of Zongo dwellers. Speaking to us uh, uh, through Roland Walker during the Eid prayers at the Independence Square this morning, Dr. Hamid said his ministry is on course to fulfilling this mandate. We know that the, the, the agenda is bigger and um, the policy interventions are also just on point to make sure that we move the conversation forward about empowering the young Muslim youth. And it looks like if you do a scanning of what has been so far since you got into that office, the, poten the potential is big. W what are they, if you can again uh, enumerate that for us? Well, um, for us, we are a ministry whose, um, as they say, marching orders are very clear. You know, um, according to the president's program for economic and social development, um, the Ministry of Inner City and Zongo Development is supposed to do basically four things. One, improve educational infrastructure in Zongo communities and, you know, improve educational standards in Zongo communities and encourage as many Zongo people who are not in education to go to school. So that's number one mandate. So education is our number one mandate. Our number two mandate is security in the Zongo communities, ensuring the peace, maintaining the peace. Number three is developing the businesses of Zongo people. That's how you find us doing the Zongo Cuisine Promotion Program, where we are training women in, in, in business and how to develop their businesses, how to promote Zongo Cuisine and all of those things. Number four is heritages of Zongo communities, um, you know, how to ensure that the unique traditions of the Zongo people is promoted and highlighted in order to support the Ministry of Tourism to be able to attract people to come into our country and, and experience um, the unique cultures that the Zongo people um, have. So in line with these um, broad mandate that the president has given us. Um, we've been intervening in the ed educational infrastructure in Zongo communities, um, rehabilitating schools, provision of um, furniture, um, provision of water, um, improvement of uh, drainages and alleyways in, in Zongo communities and as I said more importantly training the human manpower inside the Zongo communities that's how come apart from the Zongo cuisine promotion program we are doing what we call the Zongo Codes program you know where we are training Zongo youth in ICT you know you know people say that Zongo boys are mostly uh, use their knowledge of ICT to do sakawa you know but we are trying to as it were, uh, redirect those energies and those talents from Sakawa to more productive ventures. So under the Zongo Coders program, we teach them to identify problems inside the Zongo communities and develop software applications that can be used to address uh, these things. So there's quite a lot that, 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 that we are doing. I mean, it's a difficult call, let me confess that one, because uh, by our count, we have 1,080 Zongo communities. Wow, 1,080. My brother, for the past one month, I've been on the road and I, I haven't even thought 200 <laughs> in, in one in a whole month of travel uh, quite well, frankly, because there's, there's a Zongo community in every constituency and, and in some constituency there are up to seven Zongo communities you know so quite frankly the challenge is huge so it's not as if in two years of the establishment of the ministry we are going to be able to transform completely every Zongo community. But as they say, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a step. Mm, but um, w w the, the, there's always this to make sure that there's a certain uh, linkage with um, what the intentions are and how that could be done with the leaders in the communities. I grew up in Ashaiman, so it's always a, a pointer for me to know that uh, the, the leaders, the fathers, the families played important roles in getting them uh, their children also to, to be like all of us. Um, how are we working with the community leaders in that direction? Oh, we are. We have what we call 